you all come in, I don't know if it's a better than new arrangement, but this is the only way we can get everyone in. Um, first of all, I will uh, just to one thing we've had a reminder from our clerk about our um, standing orders, which we haven't been saying. Um, from now on, members, you're expected, or we should have been all along, to stand up for Raise your hand if you want to speak and then stand up. This way we everyone can hear what you're saying and we don't have people interrupting um, the speaker. Okay, so apologies for absence. Uh, um, for councillors declaring personal or prejudicial interest on the items on the agenda? No. Right. Uh, to approve the minutes of the meeting of the Parish Council on the 2nd of July, which have been circulated, then. Are they an accurate record? Can I have a proposal then? Is that approved? Uh, to the park. It's um, owned by Bucks County Council of Field. The stream that runs through the park then goes into the field and then to a, a culvert. Unfortunately, uh, during this winter, the stream overflows across the meadow pitch, remove, uh, ru well, ruin the meadow pitch, and um, uh, the Bucks County Council have explored the culvert and in fact, in the middle of the field, part of the culvert collapsed. Now, the Bucks County Council feels here that uh, I've met with two of them, their officers. They would rather not um, dig down two metres and replace the culvert. And the Environment Agency would rather not have a culvert in any place. So um, the proposal is um, that uh, the Environment Agency, at their expense, is to uh, continue the stream across the field by digging it out and then across the bottom um, beyond the meadow ditch um, at their expense. Uh, at the moment we're waiting now for a survey from uh, Bucks County Council to be exactly where that um, stream will then run. The coal will remain in play, but if of course the uh, stream then can't take the flow of water, some will still be able to get down the coal. The uh, devolution proposal by Bucks County Council, where the parish council are proposing that they take over grass cutting, hedge cutting, spraying the uh, grass verges for weeds and so on. Um, it's, uh, there is a proposal from ABDC that they take over the whole of the budget, and those parish councils that wish to take part um, can then. Uh, well, Bucks County Council will uh, appoint a contractor, and um, as I say, those parish councils who wish to take part. The alternative was to take on the, uh, the work ourselves and employ a contractor, or go into um, a cluster with adjoining parishes, such as Buckland and Western Circle. Buckland would like to go along with ADDC proposals. Western Circle, well, they want to go wider, they want to cut the grass along the 14 mile limit where it is actually, we would only be limit in the 30 So really it's up to our members really whether we uh, go along with ABCC's proposal 
um, that they employ the contractor for the whole of the hours we go, and we take part in that. Or the alternative is not to take part in anything, and then um, Dr. Kennedy Council will carry on at the hour now. So really, by September, um, we really want to know. Um, the Ellsbury Vale plan, you probably know that it was abandoned. I think the government rejected it. We fully took part in it, but that's not in the council. We uh, had uh, um, released with it every household, and we got the response, and we responded to the plan. Um, we've now been approached today um, by community action, but whether we'd like to take part in a neighbourhood plan. In view of the development that are proposed to this village, it might very well be for the council decided to do the guiding in that. And really, that's my report. Thank you. I'm recording. Okay. Thank you. Um, my next item is the finance report. Um, I have selected um, a slightly larger than a quarterly report. It's four months so from the beginning of our financial year, April to end of July. Um, there's several reports on it. Um, members will hopefully see on the sheet number one that that's my um, accounting report from the um, new account package that I'm using that shows all the um, payments and the for the last four months. Um, sheet number two shows all the cost centers that we have allocated and how much we've spent so far, how much we have left and also a monthly available amount. Now some of the cost centers it wouldn't be applicable that we have a monthly amount. For the example, of grass cutting, we do much limited grass cutting in the winter time, um, then we wouldn't need to spend amount of money. But hopefully, it gives us some idea of um, the money that we have for each cost centre and the money that's available for the rest of the year. And sheet number three is showing the decisions that were made last year for this year, and that's what I'm currently working to do at the moment. Does anyone have any questions about that or want to um, say anything? Yes. Forgive me if I don't stand up. Right, um, you mentioned the new accounts package. Uh, cost, please? Three. Wonderful. Right. Um, I haven't acquired any yet. I can't be provided with some at £45 an hour, but I'm managing with that at the moment, so I'm going to continue to try to do that. Um, I applaud your uh, attachments. Thank you for detail. Um, can I pick up on one or two points of detail? Yes, you may. Um, the June minutes of the Parish Council agreed the expenditure of the payment to Council Master of £35,098. Mm-hmm. Your accounts record a payment of £41,083. That's because there was an addition, and I think Councillor um, Homeville and Wallace um, saw the extra addition, so it has been recorded. Um, it hasn't been approved by the Parish Council, would you agree? Yes. Um, your Annex 2 puzzles me slightly. I think there are eight things missing, totaling £10,811. Okay. 
which you can send it to. Yeah. Okay. What can we see? April, six lots heating and plumbing, designer Ross, May, Dagen Environmental Engineering, McCulvick, Toilet Clean, Viking Toilet Rolls, East Carpet, or sorry, those last three were in June, McCulvick in July, and Light in July. Okay, what will today have been from? Sorry. You're up to your act two. I don't believe that they are recorded in your act two. I'll have to check that later. Yes, they are. But I mean, the main, the main document that I think is applicable is the ins and outs and the bank statements that you've also got to show that payments have been made and you see this basically yeah. the council is aware of what's been said. The, the, the number two I've put together as, as a guide, but it's not, you know, that's my own working. Um, um, I thought I had copied those from the account package because that's where I've got them from. But, um, I hope members will agree that as long as they can see what's going in and out of the bank and that matches with the um, account package, then that should. I can confirm that from my analysis today, the bank statement matches yours. Yes. Exactly. Thank you. Yes. Um, a plea, if I may, on Act 2. Okay. Could you possibly include a back inclusive? Okay. Rather than a back exclusive. It's just the way it comes out, but I can. I can well, it's it very difficult to sorry okay. when one set of figures is that exclusive and not a back inclusive. Okay. Right, just one more if I may. Um, we, we technically have three pots of money that we pay into or withdraw from. We have our main bank account, we have our reserve bank account, and we have credit cash. Um, extending your analysis to the second and third, the reserve and the credit cash, yeah. would provide a complete picture which we lack at the moment. Okay. The number of transactions certainly for the reserve account are minimal. We don't make any transactions out of that. We have a little bit of paying in and paying out from the main account, but it's... Uh, yeah. Um, I, 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 well, I, I have never made a transaction yeah. in that account, but that's that's fine. That's um, that, that would really provide the protection well. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I just have a, a few more items, if I may. Um, I just wanted to let everyone know that. Um, we received a letter from um, Brian Harrison just for, um, concerning the resignation from the council. Um, regarding the um, forthcoming election, um, the date of the election will be Thursday the 18th of September. Uh, the notice of um, election won't be due to display until the 13th of August. Um, uh, the council provided for that. Um, and that will come to me by 13th of August. Um, I think we may have a couple of um, candidates, but again, the lady needs to confirm that. I can't confirm exactly. Um, I did ask members to um, look at my email from a gentleman from the Caravan Club. They currently use the Meadows Pitch a couple of times a year. Um, over a weekend normally, and he has inquired about the pit space for next year, and he wants to confirm whether the council will, what fee they will be charging. Um, they currently are charged six pounds per unit per night. Um, so I wanted the council to um, advise me if this is um do you know what other people charge? Is this a normal number? As far as I'm aware, it's about right. Some places will um, they have showers and that kind of thing, but obviously we can have a lot of water. Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I believe it's about right. If I may, I... I'm clearly... If they want to come, they have to behave, mm -hmm. and this year they didn't. Mm -hmm. So uh, it's not just a question of the fee; it's a question of. I think I, I think they have to take responsibility for making sure that the gates are open and closed for all, for obvious reasons. It's, 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 it
it's a real threat to the park. It, it, it gets to let them all the reason. Did they have that? They only had one job. They only have the allotment gate keys that they need to go to the shelf. It shouldn't be left to your responsibility to, uh, to handle that over that weekend. So I think they need to sign up, mm. uh, sign an agreement that they will comply with this. Yes, yeah. we, we, we need to get another key to that gate. So, but, but I think they have to sign and take responsibility. Mm. Yeah, yeah. But is that the only thing that was wrong with what they did? Mm. It's interesting until I asked one of them where they came from, and they said, we do like it here. Yeah. I said, where did you come from? I said, I was good. Could I admit that they confirmed that they have a £6 charge for next to the real way from that piece? That's the yeah. No one of Stainer? Is that one of Stainer? Yeah. Thank you. Is that all on Um I just wanted to let you know that we've had um, a couple of issues with lamp posts during the month. Um, there is a lamp post that has been knocked down on when we were close. Um, I understand there was um, a live wire exposed and um, I had to get someone out there so please to rectify that. Um, the person who has done the damage has um, provided me with all his details so I will be um, getting him to cover the cost of that one. Um, we've also had another one um, in, um, I think it was New Road. Um, which needs to be addressed as well. Unfortunately, I cannot find who did it um, and without any details of the person who has done it, um, we're not going to be able to see a case, um, so I will need to get some quotes in detail that or have it removed if um, it's felt that that would be a better option. Yes. Okay. I'm not sure when best to talk about it. I want to ask about the lamp um, in Chestnut. Okay. Yes, yes, you can ask me that. I just wanted, last meeting I asked if we could provide for the biggest class regarding why, why it was all fried. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, I, I haven't had a real choice before. Can I ask the chairman on 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 the chairman for that? What, what will you intend, or what can we as a council intend to do about the amount of money that was spent? I'm all fine. Yeah. We, we can't do anything about it if the money has been spent. Or about in the future. Good. That's it. Okay, if that's happened once, and that's one thing we know about, is there anything else that has happened? Or do we need to put anything in place to stop that happening again? Well, not that I'm aware of. And <laughs> <laughs> not that I'm aware that anything has happened similar to that, no. Or about putting some, I don't know, some regulations in well, place. Well, it's, it's normal that they're authorised, yes. Yeah. Um, just, just lastly, um, I just want to let you know, and um, uh, Christians may know, but we have supersonic high speed broadband in the village. I can send this yesterday in a fight against the man who has been um, sorting it out, and all you need to do is contact your current supplier of broadband, and they can put you up with supersonic. Um, and there's obviously a website there that you can have a look at. But um, they've been putting in um, boxes of all the bits and pieces that they need to do. And that's all up and running now. That's all nice and positive. Sorry, Jim, I've just got one more item. Sorry. Sorry. Um, I've, I've received the um, crime figures from the uh, local mm-hmm. police. They were going to be but I can see they're not here, so they think I could pass this over. Um, we've had four recordable crimes in the village this month. Um, one was assessed to the JCB, and three were criminal just damages involving you. So that's the police, that's a pretty light for um, the village, no major, major crimes as such. Um, I've just got two more things, sorry. Um, I just wanted to let members know that um, I had an inquiry about um, councillors having their own emails that we can set up from um, our website. I have made inquiries um, of the chap that builds our website at the moment, and he said that he will set up these emails free of charge. Um, 
But I need to know um, which councillors want to have an email that patients can click on and then it will be sent to their own individual email box. Um, I have to be copied in on what's coming in and what's coming out. Um, but I just need to sort of get a feel if you want to do that. And I also think it would probably be appropriate for members to supply me with their sort of specific um, talents or what their projects are, things like that, so that when Christians look at the website, they can see, okay, that person's responsible for planning, that person's responsible for the path or whatever, and they can click on the appropriate one. Um, so perhaps if, if members can feedback back to me um, about that when we've had all about it, they want to be included on that. Um, and my final item is just about meetings. I've tried uh, without success to get a bigger meeting venue for this evening at quite short notice. Um, the Anthony Hall is booked on the first Wednesday of every single month, which is when we hold the meeting. So unless we change our meeting day, we're not going to be able to use that. Um, I also looked into Har and Hub, but because they serve alcohol at the moment, I can't use that either. So I have tried. Can I just ask a question? You said about hiring a hub. It's the parish council building, isn't it? So therefore, why would you have to hire it? Paul is, and uh, can I just thank you first of all for the hard work performance of finances, and um, I'm thank uh, Jeff also for the scrutiny that he's done on the finances, and would it be unreasonable to suggest that in future months uh, Jeff clearly has a penchant for uh, uh, the scrutiny of finances and the working job, that he might speak to the staff before the meeting so that these small niggles can be resolved and we can come to this meeting with uh, a finance uh, breakdown which is accurate and agreeable to answer. A couple of clarifications. Um, and the, the, the supplier officer issue. Um, the last time I looked, which was only about a month ago, it was down to Chabot, like a Chabot in the village, which is not popular, and three are. Um, it is that in the drawing that the whole village is now up and running. That's, that's, that's my understanding. That's my understanding. Your, your um, reference that email, correct? Are, are you suggesting that the parish council have an email address founded into the domain name of that the parish council or the email gets routed to that personal email address? I, I did discuss this with you because I wasn't sure what the members would be happy at being routed into their own. He said the simplest way of doing it was to, to route into your own personal email address. I think possibly if we want to set up something so that you can log into um, the Aston Clinton email, then that might involve a bit more work on his part, so he might charge for that. So if it's something that we're just in the bit um, without charge, that's what we'd have to do, but it would be a good job for us to do it. Um, Apologies for the third one in fact in the last meeting where uh, I can clarify to you, Mr. Chairman, where we discuss or raise items that were actually moved up on the mention. Um, so we're going to about uh, the about the check meeting two seconds. I can report back to that. I've made an inquiry of Barclays who we currently hold at our um, dealings with and they can set us up, they're sending me a mandate form to change that to signature and also to make sure that the back payment is authorised by uh, myself and one other. Um, so it's essentially signing the back payment. Not just uh, but they're saying that's really good hundred years to get, which is a big pack to change every week. So. Right, we'll move on then to the hub. I was asked by a member of the public to give a brief synopsis with regards to that hub. The um, hub is now open for public meetings. Um, it's open for public meetings on Monday the 14th of October. Um, it's open for public meetings on Monday the 14th of 
hopefully we have done it. Okay. Um, stood empty for about six months and then early in 2000 uh, the parish council rented out the sports and social clubs on a 10 year lease that lease was surrendered in 2012 and it's now re been re-let on a 10 year lease um, the uh, use the permitted use um, a recreate, is described as a recreation sports and social centre or such as falls within class 2B of the Schedule Town and Country Planning Act of uh, 1987, which I looked up, and uh, that uh, what covers that building is um, assembly and leisure, indoor and outdoor, sport and recreation. Um, going on to the description of the uh, premises, it says an ancillary bar and coffee uh, shop facility or such other use for the landlord shall from time to time approve and for which consent shall not be unreasonably withheld or delayed by the council. Is there any, uh, <coughs> 
Right, <coughs> then the, um, the next is apparently... Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It is not to use the premises as a sleeping accommodation, or for residential purposes, do not to keep any animal anywhere on the premises. Mm-hmm. And yet in the minutes of the finance and staff meeting, on the third of February this year, I know I'm under any other business. And I quote, it was mentioned that the small bar may be changed to allow an on-site manager, planning permission required to break up the bar, a moderate change of use application to be approved by the council should Gary wish to go ahead. So this is quite like confusing. I mean, Mr. Burnham has applied for planning permission. Yes, that's the next uh, on the item on the agenda. Yes, the we can led to believe that we should use the board to turn our minutes to the family. The finance meeting on the 3rd of February this year. Well, as, as uh, I've read out in, in the actual lease, it says it can make application and we have to approve it. No, the actual lease, the actual lease says, this lease is mm-hmm. says it is not to use premises as clean accommodation or for residential purposes mm-hmm. and not to keep any animal anywhere on the premises. Actually, it's in the lease. Mm-hmm. And that was in the minutes said that we'll be making an application for that, then, in the minutes? In the minutes of the finance and staff meeting, mm-hmm. which I think you were present, mm-hmm. it says on the 3rd of February, it is mentioned that the small farm may be changed to allow an on-site manager, planning commission required to block up the bar, and moderate change of use application to approve by the council, should Gary wish to go ahead. So anyhow, we, we, it's now on the next one agenda that he is making an application. Yes, sir. Do you want me to yes, sir. talk about that? Yes, please, sir. Please. Um, I mean, uh, Nandis, you, you've, got a, you've got a list of the planning applications that the planning committee has uh, looked at, and uh, you can see that there are no objections except for the one for the hub. And in fact, uh, the application from the hub is, uh, it, it is not through the normal planning procedure, so we can't ask uh, Carol Papanossa or anyone else to help us here. This is, uh, this is really um, what, uh, what the owner of the hub has done, is applied under the government scheme to convert offices into residential um, accommodation, where in fact, if you can demonstrate at the 30th of May 2013 that a place was being used as an office, then you don't need to go to the local authority. You can just convert it into residential accommodation. We are, uh, I've spoken to uh, John Watson, who's helping us here, I've spoken to you, I've spoken to other members. And that has always been a bar or something related to it, so we have objected uh, to the council. It will be under officers' delegation, and we've said that that actually is just not true. Mm-hmm. So, on the grounds of that alone, we object. Thank you. Any other questions on them? So, the parish council will be objecting. Yes, I can I ask a question? In the two courses. Oh. <laughs> well, it is about that one thing. <laughs> if I may say to the chair, we, we have a public participation at the end, so all, all questions for the agenda I need to wait till the end of the day. Yes, but that won't be noted. We're on to now 14.106 members, which is the estimate for the repair of our ride on bar. Excuse me, can I turn on my back down? Mm-hmm. Um, I've had a look at the list for the planning application. We're seeing the whole new York's planning, and we're at 14.0205. 
Um, so it's not it's not what we're going for, but it gives me an idea so that we know. Well, I'll start with a contract. I was reading the um, the estimate, the work in these films, and the reports suggest that um, a wire had been removed and stuck back in the wire and wiring room that the overall warning forms were not sound if we're not going to be the leader. Last who has been maintaining this vehicle since 2012 the Groundsman? Well, uh, we have a Groundsman who can maintain that vehicle, but um, whether that was done before he started uh, using it, there's no way of doing it. Surely in two years, that must have been at some point service for maintaining it. Well, I think it is, yes, it has been service, yes. I don't know, I mean, I don't know anything about it. Mm-hmm. But surely that is something that would have been picked up by whoever was maintaining it. Well, um, I can't say. Well, do you think that's something we start when we get an estimate? Should this have been picked up? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll ask Brown then about this because uh, this, this mower apparently, um, uh, so I understand, is rather a specialist, um, you know, a couple of arranged ones. And there's only Browns of top two men who were in this area who will be maintaining this type of vehicle. Okay. I mean, above the on normal services, like what, you know, change the oil. Right, so we will, so we will get a... Oh, we are, 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 we I will try to uh, reply to the councillor because, uh, in, in fairness, I think the routine maintenance that's probably a specialist that we pick that type of thing up. Um, and only in a, a servicing by a specialist service day would they actually notice that, that wire was uh, removed and tucked away. No routine maintenance from a qualified person or not would pick up that type of um, error on, on an engine. And I think it's unfair to. Unless um, there's an error on the current ground, and then you can pick up that formation. Well, the Chairman, just a moment. Brown actually did say that they've only got two members, uh, two uh, engineers who work on this company. Yeah, thank you, Mr. Chairman. I think that reinforces the point that it's especially with Chairman. All I can say today is I'll make my allegation. I'm just saying, have they been maintaining that vehicle? You've already said it's fair. It's a special item. Two years, we've not had that vehicle maintained because the past two correspondents can go down there maintaining our machinery. Yes, well, there is maintaining and changing all the water and putting in the battery space. Yeah, that has to be done. But uh, there's another thing that actually is a good one. I understand we've got to replace the head. And uh, we, we did actually replace uh, someone in the village who maintained uh, this type of uh, vehicle and said it's beyond the Yes, yes. Um, I'm having just a bit of difficulty uh, positioning this financial spend into the bigger picture. So, um, have we actually a strategy for maintenance of the park for the next five years? Are we going to employ housing? Are we going to go out to contracts for people? Is it possible that one of the contractors that we go to, if that's our chosen part, should be supplying their own equipment to do the job? Well, you'll notice on the um, agenda we are going to discuss our maintenance in the park so we can discuss that then. So can we leave those payment items on that point? Because yeah. what we seem to be saying here is keep it out of sequence. You know, you, we're looking for permission to spend 3,800 plus VAT, and yet later on in the meeting, you want to check them, we're going to discuss it again, and we may decide, actually, we don't need the equipment, we're going to use some practice equipment. Mm-hmm. They will bring their own equipment in. Well, um, let's see, uh, well, let's see what we know with regards to uh, the maintenance of the park. But, but in any case, uh, uh, if we did carry on with uh, using our own equipment, then this, this, this vehicle would need to be there. Members are happy we'll move on. Um, discuss and involve the full parish council should whether they should take over the staff and finance committee responsibility. The background of that was that um, at a recent uh, staff and finance meeting, um, three of our councillors 
walked out and therefore the committee could not continue because we didn't have enough councillors present. We then, um, at their request, asked for an extraordinary meeting of the Paris Council to discuss the, uh, um, whether our rules should be changed as to who should chair that meeting and uh, the three councillors who asked for that meeting didn't turn up. Um, obviously, this and all offer apologies over that. Obviously, this, this situation couldn't continue because this limited our clerk and what she could do with regards to finance. So, members, um, the your uh, views, please, on this. Yes, please. On the council and the public, I was one of the councillors who walked out. And um, perhaps I'll give a chance to give out my side of why I walked out on this thing. The first, um, first finance meeting of uh, the new finance committee, mm-hmm. the month previous, on the agenda was a item for uh, um, electing a chairman of the finance committee, which is allowed in Paris Council to elect chairman of the subcommittee. Uh, uh, that's what we did. It was, on the, it was on the agenda. You yourself are on the finance committee, Mr. Chairman. You saw that it was on the agenda. The clerk saw it was on the agenda. At no point were we told that that would not stand if we, if we elected a chairman of the finance committee. At that, at that meeting, the first item was to elect the chairman. It was unanimous at the point of voting for Jeff Pam to be chairman of that, that committee. Um, I just want everyone to know that at the following meeting, um, uh, the chairman, the current chairman, is, uh, Mr. Maxwell, uh, Mr. Maxwell, um, invoked a, a, uh, a, what would I call it, a, a regulation of ex officio, of leader is, where you will become then um, the chairman of that subcommittee. Well, to me, that's just not democracy, and that's why I walked out. We, we, we decided on a chairman of that subcommittee, and I think I believe you should have with that, so that's why I walked out. I actually, I didn't see the agenda because I was in the old guard at the time. Um, so, uh, um, the, um, that um, meeting was not publicly convened because the Vice Chairman of the Parish Council was present and uh, by virtue of the law on that under the uh, uh, Law on Act of 1972, Section 99, if the not Chairman or Vice Chairman are present, they will preside. Not an option that says they will survive. Uh, if we may just go back um, on the 7th of May, I mean, just to emphasize one or two things that they said, um, appointments were made to the Finance and Staffing Committee in the full council meeting with yourselves, Martin Watson, Ray Wallace, and myself, Joe Hines. Only the June meeting, you didn't attend. The draft minister has brought any apologies from you. Um, the vote of the need for nil, and as they said, democracy was for interaction. We referred to the meeting last Wednesday. We sought and were given advice by ABDC that we should not attend the meeting. It was not legal. We acted on that advice. That simple. Why was it not legal? I am I'm telling you that we received advice from ABDC and we acted upon it. It's just as simple as that, and that is the reason, members of the public, why we didn't turn our policy. Just straightforward. If I, if I may offer a few other points just along this line. Um, I think we need to examine, what you know, in mind, we can examine the motivation behind strapping it. Um, why are we not abandoning the other committees as well, I wonder? Um, if we can draw parallels with the way Parliament is run, the way any councils are run, Actually, all of the important work is done in committee. Very little is actually done in the chamber. Very little is done in here. Committee should be there to examine matters in detail and prevent back the decisions to the parish council. All right. Now, you know, I've gone through already, and, and I'd like to thank the council for its uh, helpful comments. But it shouldn't be up to me to be going through these financial details on their own. It should be up to the finance and staffing committee and to prevent. A, an approval of the figures, not not for an individual. Um, another example, if I may. This is our accounting statement for last year. 
this is effectively a combination of the balance sheet and the mechanism that parish council both made. It was never considered by the finance committee. Yeah, odd, but it was never considered by them. So it was presented to full council. It's got an error of 3,560 pounds. There is a hole of 3,560 pounds. All right, it's unresolved. I'm expecting, because I spoke to them, I'm expecting the external audience to throw this back at because of that discrepancy. Now, here's the problem. That is presented to the full parish council. And what the chairman is, is expecting is that the full parish council, in both the finances we discussed earlier and this sort of thing, that we will come to go here. We don't have the time. We don't have the time to look at the detail. My, third, my last point is about agenda items. Um, perhaps the clerk could tell us how many agenda items were excluded from this meeting. Oh, we lost. Thank you. Yeah. So, a box were excluded simply because there's an awful lot of finance agenda items that are being rolled into this meeting and will be rolled into future meetings if we don't have a finance construction failure. Okay. Sorry, have I finished? Uh, oh, it's, uh, it's, uh, fairly, uh, it's fairly straightforward. I knew it was a fair tender that finance meeting and I would have chaired it. This would all have been done. And I would have chaired it according to the law. And he said, I can't imagine anyone from ABDC outside of you not to abide by the law. Um, could I um, require, I don't think I need to request, uh, could I require that the clerk record the names of those in four minutes? Could I say something? I think the, uh, the Finance and Staff Committee can be in operation again in the future. It's not a, it's just a temporary measure.
I'm not inside it, but they want to propose now. It seems to be two rather different proposals. Could we have some expectations? Well, it's quite paper. Instead of having a staff and finance committee of, say, five members, we have the whole of the parish council can sit on the staff and finance. Are you looking to abandon the finance and staffing committee or not? No, the clerk has made it possible that in due course we will elect members to the staff and finance committee. Do we want to elect members in May? Yes, and one member who was elected never actually accepted the election. He was present. And he was. Did you meet the Did you notify know, the clerk that you would accept the nomination? No, well, I asked him. Thank you. Mm. Mr. Chairman, I, I don't like it. Uh, I think we're wasting everybody's time. I think uh, I think we've got to take it away and try and try and we've got a finance and staff committee. I think we've got to try and make it work. Well, at the moment, um, but I mean, it, the standoff is about who chairs it, and 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 you've 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 explained that the current rules under the current regulations, um, you or the deputy chairman would chair it. And really, we've got to say to our colleagues that's the situation until it's changed. So, I mean, it seems to me, carry on. Unless you guys are not prepared to carry on. Not I, I mean, I, I just think, I think the point has been made, and I, I, I mean, this is not what we're here. I, I don't want to get involved in, in, in this, really. So I think we should ask them to reconsider their position and and carry on, and the issue of the chairmanship um, is something that should probably be tackled at the next annual general meeting of the parish council. At that meeting, Councillor Cook and myself were there. I did not agree with the proposition that was put for the extraordinary general meeting, but I did think that um, I, I did not agree that the chairman or the vice chairman should chair every committee just because they turn up. I think at the annual meeting of the uh, of the parish council, that is the time when we could elect a chairman of the finance committee or any other committee. Um, the only way um, to change the situation is to change um, the section in the federal order. And one of the things that said to me in the agenda was that we review our standing order. Sure. And maybe that's something we can change. Sure, that's But in the meantime, it would be good if the committee could carry on. I don't know if you agree with that. Yes, yes. I, I don't think we can. I think finance is a huge part of what we do. And I think we should um, try and keep that yeah. going. Mm -hmm. But, but have, have a very um, swift look at our standing order. Right, members. Before we, I think we all agree on that. But I mean, is it fair to, is it fair to say that the uh, three councillors that um, walked out of that meeting are, are quite willing to continue with that task of finance? Yes. I am more than yeah. happy yeah. to say that. Yeah. Well, I have a, a, a thorough objection to the chairmanship. I think was that. But in, in principle, Jeff, you're happy to sit on the <laughs> and do that good work. Paul, yeah. you know my forte. All right, I've demonstrated it already. It's figures, it's organisation. I think, all right, Mr. Chairman, that's the correct decision for the season. All right, members. Is, is that agreed, then, members? Yeah, yeah. 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 Is that a show of hands? Okay, I'm going to tell what are we agreeing? We're agreeing the Finance yeah. yeah. Committee yeah. and Dark Sky yeah. yeah. But then we'll see you on But the yeah. end, yeah. 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 Is that a very... Mm -hmm. Right, the uh, 14108 discussions will prove uh, or not the use of holding cards in the fourth term election. Um, I believe the task has circulated the costs involved. Um, um, our last election that took place in June, um, we had a bill from ABBC of £2,224.90. Um, with the forthcoming election, um, the cost will be very similar. Mm -hmm. If we add in the polling cost, it will be another £1,500 on top of that. 
about the, the actual expense. So, for instance, if we were able to distribute the cards ourselves, well, would we cut down in any significance the amount of money that they would be given to I assume the chunk is out of trust. Yes, I can clarify that the, the total charges, I have the breakdown of the last year, I think it was about £250 for the postage. So we might be able to drop as many as we're willing to um, deliver them themselves. Everything else, I don't think we can cut costs on because it's their time, etc. Um, can't take the bill at the moment, but the number is about two hundred and fifty pounds for the um, group. Uh, the postage was actually two seven seven thirty. Um, that was the, so that was the uh, those who are the total vote. So to do the whole village is not going to be that, but they make that count. Sure. 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 I assume if we don't approve tolling <coughs> cards, we will be just ignoring and disrespecting the needs of the village. It was at the last meeting where there was really quite a strongly worded statement from the member of the public who objected thoroughly to the fact that he wasn't informed that there was a cash cancellation. I think that I would We have a budget subject for election expenses. We won't cover all the costs, but it'll go some way. It's been exceeded already, of course. Perhaps we could move the chairman down, <laughs> well, members, can we have the uh, we've had to use? Do we? Uh, it is not necessary to have Poland the cards, as it was last time. We had 351 votes. People know. I do. I do, and I'm very lucky my second vote. <laughs> 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 Yeah, uh, um, I have lost commitment to me, and people are very anxious that people who have supposed to vote um, uh, have to get around to find their own people who didn't know that people were actually in there. So I think, it, um, I, I agree with them, yeah, I think it's a bit of 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 a over other people. Oh, yeah, yes, I know that, but they've got to be able to do that. I don't know what you've got the answer to the prize for. I don't know what you've got the answer to the prize for. I don't know what Mm-hmm. Uh, either way, I don't think um, mm-hmm. we can ignore the people who are taking the issue we want to. Well, can I have a proposal for or the proposal? I propose that we issue one card. Okay, let's go on that. That's what I'm saying. Oh, no, you're not going to want to. all in favour. Mm-hmm. Right, the next is um, to approve the uh, House Council employees uh, to remain the eligible to join the local government pension scheme. The details of this have been circulated. Tell them to benefit the members of the, the public. Um, we are uh, attached to the 
this is not the yeah. 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 so, yeah. yeah. just have to do this. Sorry, can I just have clarity on that last time? Uh, it, it, it's an email, um, Essentially, the council resolved last month that we would um, pay the final um, solicitor's fee. Um, yeah. 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 This is the £22,000 budget. Yes. Yeah. Fine. You do not have a budget subheading that you should pay this. No, <coughs> it was put against miscellaneous, but as you can see, there is not quite enough miscellaneous. Mm -hmm. I object. So the, the finance council, sorry, the finance committee will need to agree which budget that comes out of because there isn't enough miscellaneous. Uh, even with the region, the other case, but I just want to set the moment to have to go ahead I and mean, pass on to him tomorrow um, and raise that in at that point. Is that agreement? Yeah. 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 And other land responsibilities for the tenants, but the parish council, including uh, grass cutting, stream clearing, water picking, handyman duties, etc. I think you brought this one up, Dean, didn't you? Um, councillors have had a chance to approve these two I've got a few short uh, bullet points here. Um, we have employed groundsmen on January 5th of July 2012, and they were done in the and the 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 process of evolution, it transpired that none of the particular actors had had a formal contract in the case of the churches. However, the view is that the park and other areas of our municipal community are generally being well maintained, although it's in some of the rich volumes may be exceeding the service levels that we receive. We may be falling short in stream clearance and general handyman support for the class of time. But the analysis of the cost suggests that we are getting reasonable value for money on an average monthly of cost of around £885 a month or £10,625 annually. We must not overlook, however, the fact that we have considerable voluntary work being done by some individuals which helps us to avoid some costs for the time being. The Council now needs to decide whether the strict contract arrangement is a desired way forward or whether we should seek to employ another arrangement. That's not something that we can realistically decide here and now, so I recommend that the committee sort out that decision for us as soon as possible. Now, if the decision is to stick with the strict contract, then we need to go through the proper process for advertising, inviting tenders, and assessing potential supplies. Services. In the meantime, we need to thank our three external suppliers for the work they are doing for us and ask them to support us as we go through the next stage of our development as a crash council and hope that they will submit their tenders when the time comes. Thank you. Um, the actual uh, contract, or rather the one for the uh, churchyard, that was put out for, um, I mean, I wasn't just involved, but I understand that, the tenders were put out for that. And, um, what was it, total doesn't care at the moment, do it? Yes, according to minutes, um, just to know if we can take them what can do for that thing, but only one, um, only one response, yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. And maybe, you know, this will be a good time to review all the services. Yeah. I mean, the other, the other, the other situation that arose, of course, is, <laughs> Because that's the evasion issue of the contract. So no, no, and in fact, we did take advice from ABDC, and they said in the circumstances it wasn't necessary. Why? Well, they said as long as the people were instructed exactly what they needed to do, and the period of time that they were to do it, it was no different from that. It was a verbal contract. <laughs> 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 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. And the other situation, of course, as you're all aware, that when our contract, when our grounds are sick, of course, we had a situation there, which, of course, week by week, we never knew when he was coming back. And therefore, of course, we ended up with a, uh, a situation where what sort of contract did you suggest we, we do for someone uh, who could be back with us the next week? Yes, yes, and in fact, surprisingly, it's only that the whole matter has actually been settled. Yes, I know, but the whole thing has not been settled until only a few weeks ago. Yes. Well, maybe a fresh start. Um, yes, it's always uh, you were, we were in a very difficult situation there when the, the girls were to come back the next week. So, in the meantime, we had people doing the job, again, a verbal contract, actually. So, there was communication. Of course, but that's, that's the same. So, you, know, you can have a verbal contract. In okay. fact, many people, most of the thing is, this room, do verbal contracts. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, there were a few people who might be doing that for my Yes, well, that, that actually mm-hmm. arose because they were under the impression, as we were, that um, our own insurance covered it. But they now have covered our own insurance. Anyway, thank you for the work. So I see you did pages of that. Well, I'll let you know my time. Are you for the proposition? Yes. I suggest you, um...
and what should be relevant to struggling with good cancer is I really think we would benefit from three key tasks. For all the annual review processes on a public plan, so that you can see what needs to be done by when and who is going to do it. Form a working party to review and recommend changes to our key government documents. And then assess whether we have any type of gaps in our portfolio of documents and determine how best to support them. Well, the finance regulations have always been reviewed by the um, <coughs> finance himself. <laughs> lovely, that's yes. lovely. Uh, lovely. Yes. Um, in fact, uh, on the last occasion, um, uh, I think two councillors actually volunteered to look at our standing orders. They were not willing to get enough. They were not willing to get enough. Mm. Um, would you like to... Um, I'd love to. <laughs> that really is all my mind. Thank you. Well, what you put forward so far, you've read it already. I have. I have to do it. Okay. Uh, two weeks. I mean, the uh, minimum number we should have on a, well, I don't call it a work party, so I mean, it's rather than a committee. Again, more than willing to join in the episode. We really should, if we're going to sort of work in parties, we could do we need three. We need a lot of black coffee, mind you. Anyone else would like to have one of Joe's looking around and they'd be like to do it. What committee do you want to start the start of the planet, then, Joe? Planet planning. Okay. 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 All right, we'll call yeah, it all. all right, Jim. Thank you. That's the three then. And uh, uh, if we could have a uh, um, the draft of the any proposals in over 50 years. I hope to get them done fairly quickly because otherwise I might lose the work a I think. <laughs> I, I might be able to assist. I, I have yes. some um, yes. updated yes. drafts of everything, yes. so we really need to adjust it to our um, our needs. Thank you. Sorry, uh, uh, well, um, there's, new, there's new five models of financial regulation standing with all of those that have just come out. I see the Code of Conduct is included on that, and uh, that is um, uh, a model which we get from ABDC. Whether we should adjust it or not, I don't think it's really I don't think so. Just have to look at Okay, so, thank you. Sorry, Hope. We seem to have a little bit of a website yet, aren't they? What's that? All these things that are public reviews. Um, Financial reviews. 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 I realise time's short. Um, broadly, with the football committee um, uh, met with representatives of Aston Clinton Football Club and the Colts. It was a very amicable and constructive meeting. Um, there's pressure to resolve the contractual arrangements with both parties as the season is coming up. And um, we've got, uh, the clerk is aware we've got different things that we need to incorporate in the agreements. However, there, there is um, a final, uh, so that we can address the proposals that Councillor Dave, Dave Wallace um, actually meets with the Colts and the Football Club to finalise the details of the next year's programme as quickly as possible. Also, when you said, Chair, that, that we, we had a problem um, with our pitch because of the flooding, one of the other things that we are recommending that we do as the Football Committee is work with the Colts and the Football Club to look at how we can maximise the football pitches so that we can achieve the objective as long as they can get a satisfactory agreement 
to make sure that the Colts and the football clubs come here for all their activities, including coaching, training and matches. So uh, uh, the proposal is that um, we finalise matches and, um, and, and, uh, and Dave uh, tries to do that before the end of August. I think the other proposal, the main proposal was, of course, that we have to do the football club, which were proposed to they were going to leave. Uh, yeah, I think that, that they, they should, the proposal from the committee was that they should be uh, allowed to return. Yes, I, I'm sorry, that was, that that was, was I should have That was the main, the main yeah. part of it. Um, and that's one of the members, that if you all agree, if, uh, um, we need to, to confirm that. And I have a proposal in a second that they ask for the football club room. Uh, well, Jane, tell me, Jane, is that agreed, members? Is that the general hand, please? Yes, yeah, that's all agreed. Um, the other, the gentleman, I don't know if that's really helpful today. Um, we, we've got, we came to a sticking point, really, with the football, uh, the cops, over the, the actual ground that they could no longer use. Um, uh, and also the cost to them, and also the cost um, to ourselves with regard to the loss of that pitch. Mm -hmm. If we go onto the ABDC website, yeah, all the pitches are there, and the cost of every pitch. Um, obviously, they, they cannot exactly align with what we um, <coughs> because they are marking up their own pitches and putting up the, their own yeah. pitch. Um, but it's a good guide to to come to, and uh, it's readily available. Yeah. Actually, Chair, there's just one other. I noticed that um, Council Bill Chapel is here, and um, so I mean, we need to get this culvert sorted. Thank you, know. because I mean, we really it, it really has spoiled the, the, the that that area. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, to you know, yeah. Yeah. can I respond, Jim? Yes. Um, I'm going to keep a very close eye on my culvert. I haven't been involved with getting it cleared last year, albeit too late when it had already touched. Um, I hear what the Environmental Agency um, would prefer. I want something that's going to work. Yeah. Um, and I will keep an eye on it, and I will welcome anybody to give me a ring or an email if it looks anywhere near uh, flooding like it did last year, because I can do more before it floods than I can after. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Um, right, so the football club's um, new business to be discussed and noted for the next month's agenda, members. Jeffrey, um, my email to the club, 31st of July, about all the time in business. And I will email you with another item that you want to take my mind it. But it basically revolves around the um, notification that you're required to give us for these things. And for Patsy, this should be the moment. It's three days in advance. Probably the class is working as busy as you can at the well, I, I, I sympathise with the class, but we had a one page agenda and 47 pages of attachments, and only a day of three months. Right, public classification. Here we go. <laughs> Standing order one Y says that meetings shall not exceed a period of two and a half hours, so that would then take us to actually ten o'clock. Okay. <laughs> 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 
Can I just also put it on their website in the same um, page as the one for the hook? So the fact that people can use computers, they can imagine somebody having a law. Yeah, no, thank you. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm-hmm.
and I don't think it's a reasonable for it to wait today, but that the good transparency is available in all transactions that don't use credit cards. Well, um, if you look at some of the uh, costs that we actually spend, um, a typical example, um, Councillor Sadagar highlighted the fact that what we're spending to maintain the park to the contractor as composed what, uh, 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 what we were spending when we were actually employing the ground. That's not answering the question, though, is it? The question was, there is no traceable record of where you spent your money. It's a verbal contract. There should be a proper contract. There shouldn't be such a thing as a verbal contract. Well, well, and as you say, Al, we know it's not your best mate. Well, well, I've only got your word on that. It's, it's true it's not, but we actually uh, <laughs> come to all the committee what we've spent on every job. So it's £3,000 off for a lamp post, but probably verbal contract. Uh, the, uh, the lamp post actually does more than that, but, um, but it's, it's to our regular, uh, our regular supplier, the only supplier of that, um, that type of lamp post. But you, you're missing the principle I'm trying to point out. Well, you, you can't be casual with other people's money. And verbal contracts are casual. You can, can anyone show me the service of the agreement to mow the lawns for the top? Where does it say how many times a week it gets mowed? How long it takes? What days it happens? When, how many times a week does the litter bin get empty? Does the litter bin be told in picking all the litter up off the park? Where are these things? It can't be just casual that we pay somebody to clean the toilets every day, do it every day, every other day, once a week. You can't do it like right that. Well, our class, um, I mean, you had it in mind actually to itemise these. Yeah, so, yes, it's a. <laughs> 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 no, no, no. I reckon I think it's such a problem. I think most of this is really awesome, to be honest. Yes, so well, why don't you say it? No. No, what? But why? Why don't you beat him around the bush? Why don't you just come out and say, I'd like to give the council the opportunity. But when you make a comment that you don't agree, so why don't you say what you actually mean? I did. No, you didn't. Well, I do not agree. We can do verbal contracts that cannot be checked. And if that involves, um, <coughs> and I, I use the term best mate, I don't really deserve these jobs. So why use the term? Because there's nothing to stop it being there. So why use the term? We haven't got a debate between the members of the public. Two minutes, I've got a hand up. Thank you for clarifying about how the public can and toilets, is that toilets in the hub or was it the public toilet? It was the toilets in the hub, I believe, yes. So, does that effectively mean that the parish council is a landlord then? With the lease? Oh, the, oh, the, the, the parish council is a landlord, I believe. So, as a landlord, and as it's been agreed by the parish council this afternoon to Rob Seedling to say that we don't agree with its residential change of office, as a landlord, you don't have more just to say, actually, I could apply for planning permission on your house. <coughs> I mean, it would be ludicrous, but I could. And 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 really, what 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 the hub has done? They have not applied for planning permission to ABDC under the normal rules to say I want to do that, they have used um, a, a government a, a government yeah. position. So it's so actually we are objecting to that because we do not agree with the change of use. They have not put in a planning application, a uh, formal planning application to ABDC to convert it into residential at all. So I understand that and that's that that but if I say with my house, if I was and that is the second point. Okay. The, but the point is that ABDC say, say if you do apply for planning on a piece of ground, ABDC can determine that planning application without any reference to the owner. <coughs> 
Now, of course, what a waste of time, because you then have got to deal with the ownership <coughs> of the property, and, and we haven't got to that stage. So we, we're objecting to this on the grounds that we are the parish council, we've been asked by ABDC to make a comment, we have said we object. If a ABDC, which I don't think they will, but if they were to say we approve, <coughs> then we will object as a landlord. Right. Sorry, I, but, it, then, that, yeah, but we're at the first stage. Right. And then the other one was, I got a bit confused with what was agreed going on to the financial committee and the discussion about sharing it and what have you. It's been agreed that financial committee is going to continue as they were, but does that mean we're going to end up in the same situation where there's going to be a disagreement over the chair again? I didn't think that was clarified. The same number of people will be on the committee. Right, so there can't be a scenario that happens before it happens again, well, or it's being agreed with it. It's so common sense for that. Another question to yes. the hub. If they haven't gone through the proper channels, what is the other sign, the planning commission sign, which I would believe is to do with ABDC? And also, Somebody mentioned that in the minute some time ago, you agreed that if Gary wanted to do it, he would go with it. So why was none of this picked up when the member of the public brought up at one of the previous meetings about they thought that he was living in there anyway, and you'd done the inspection and said he wasn't. So you already knew that he'd put in for planning permission because you said it's all right, Gary, if he does it, we'll do it. Can I, can I, I'm yeah. a member of the planning committee. Uh, that was the first I heard about that minute this evening. So I mean, you know, what no, I, I, I'm not aware of. So it wasn't said of any. Uh, uh, well, it was obviously said because it was minutes, wasn't it? So well, I, it's certainly not in any meeting. But, I but it heard. was so. If if the member of the public can easily find that on the website, which they did, because nobody was telling the members of the public that so that was there, and the sign got up. What I'm saying is, it all seems a bit funny. But if you're saying, oh, we will let Gary go ahead if he wants it, then you know about it all along when we uh, can uh, say it, when we, you've been being told. No, I'm not saying that you particularly know. <coughs> I'm saying okay. it was known about by the parish council. And I don't think you can pull the wool over the public's eyes much longer over this. Well, that's what I'm hoping, and I'm hoping that if it goes to planning, you will keep the objection. It is a public park. It was supposed to be there originally, as she said, to sport to measure for the village. Yeah. And I mean, and we all pay enough to live in this village, and we'd all have a lovely garden like that. Do you know what I mean? But you know, and especially when it's so cheap. Yes. I'm wondering if maybe when um, we have a review of all of the parish government documents, there's something we can look at because at the moment, um, the minutes of the, all the meetings, um, some are available for the budget of the councils and some are not. Um, all of these minutes should be available for all members of the public. They are in the minute book, but they're actually not on our website. And this is something that we should think about, and everybody can see what the best time is in the meeting. Yes, and, and of course the um, meetings are publicised. And are we allowed to look at this book that you can look at? Are we allowed to have things so we can go through the minutes mm -hmm. that are on the, the website? Mm -hmm. So I'd like to make an appointment to come along and I can go through mm -hmm. the minutes of the last meeting, so for the last year. Mm -hmm. I want to. We've got uh, one more then, please. The whole point, I think. Um, Somebody needs to check the legislation that changed in there. I think it only applies to delay officers. And I don't believe these are delay officers. No, you're, you're right. But you, you're, you're right. But you have applied. Yeah, well, I mean, it, 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 he, he, it is not permitted development as you have the current consent for the hub. Not because they're not VA officers. So no, what's what the issue? Here? Sorry, Carol Patton has to know a lot more than I. Carol, yes. Yes, that's good. Yeah. Um, <coughs> the the of development rights, but it's for B1 officers. Oh, sorry. The VA distribution. Yeah. Um, yeah. But our problem at moment with ABC is that the new class on us is B2, yeah. it's not B1. We're having to go and seek legal advice on this because. 
that the part that is, is could you say that the using part is an office, therefore that constitutes an office, mm-hmm. therefore with B1, which I think is trying to get away with at the moment, whereas the registration says it has to have B1 usage. It doesn't have to be what you've been. We've gone to get legal expertise on that. Sorry, so I can, because uh, I think that's very succinct. Right. And what we have said, yeah. and we've yeah. checked, and, and John Watson, yeah. the former yeah. parish council, we've written through everything, is that has not, at the 30th of May, which is the definitive date, or now, it is not being used primarily as an office. So even if it were in the right planning consent, it, 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 it is not an office in the meaning of the word. And that's what we've said to ABDC, and I think that will help it, ABDC. So they have consent as an office from you, from the Parish Council? Sorry, can I, can I, I'm just trying to interrupt this. When we did the inspection, when you guys did the inspection of him, um, it was actually told to you, communities, I believe, a month or so ago, the reason it was closed was because it was a storage area. Mm-hmm. It's only minutes from... Yeah. I can't remember what it was. That's fucking happened with that. We've been in the middle of 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 the does, does the owner of the there's an, sorry does the owner of the hub know that an application's gone in? But we are there. No, not the lease. If he does, yeah. then he'll be in breach of the lease. It's that simple. I'm sorry. The if lease is not even in Mr. Brennan's name. <laughs> That's a different issue. All right, just well, raise the point. We bring it up at another meeting to on the agenda. You can't. You can't. got it leased to a gentleman that lives in Austria.